good morning students in our last lecture we have seen what is miller index how to find miller index of a plane and what are the features of a miller index in our today's lecture we will learn how to draw miller indices or the miller planes with the help of miller indices in order to draw miller planes with the help of miller index given we should remember the features of the miller index i have told you that if a given crystallographic plane is parallel or the axis given plane is parallel to the crystallographic axis then it will not intersect that axis hence its intersect will be at infinity and its index will become 1 upon infinity is equal to 0 this we have to remember while attending this question suppose i will uh, give you few of the examples and you have to solve the uh, question given in 1.5 on your own let's start to understand how to draw miller planes suppose in solution 1 there is one example given a plane whose miller index is given as 100 what is the meaning of this 100 it means that there is one plane as shown in figure and it will intersect only to x axis because we know that in case of 100 value of h is 1 value of k is 0 and value of l is 0 how will have reached to this value because we have to take we have taken the reciprocal of the numerical parameter therefore we have to inverse the procedure it means that we have to now find out the intercept made by the planes so we have to take the reciprocal of the digits given here that is h k l values given here here 100 it means that h value is 1 so we have to take the reciprocal reciprocal of 1 is 1 upon 1 reciprocal of 0 is 1 upon 0 and reciprocal of 0 is 1 upon 0 we know that when 1 upon 0 it means that given plane will intersect that axis at infinity therefore the intersects are come out as 1 infinity and infinity it means that we have to draw a plane which will intersect x axis at 1 y axis at infinity and z axis at infinity so the present plane a b c d fulfills this requirement hence the plane that we have to draw with index 100 is as shown in figure then next next we have to draw a plane 101 it means that again we have to follow the reverse procedure it means that from the miller index we have to find out the intercepts same procedure it means that we have to take the reciprocal of 101 it means that h value is 1 k value is 0 and l value is 1 reciprocal of 1 comes out as 1 upon 1 reciprocal of 0 is 1 upon 0 reciprocal of 1 comes out as 1 upon 1 it means that 1 upon 1 is equal to 1 1 upon 0 is equal to infinity and 1 upon 1 is equal to 1 it means that we have to draw a plane which will intersect only x and z axis and not the y axis as shown in figure hmm? at d it is intersecting x axis then at a it is intersecting z axis but it is not intersecting y axis at all therefore this plane shown in figure with a b c d represent 1 0 1 next a plane whose miller indices are 1 1 0 it means that the given plane is intersecting only x and y axis 
and it is not intersecting z axis hmm? is it clear then find out the intercepts how to find out the intercepts take the reciprocal of the linear indices therefore 1 upon 1 hmm? again h value is 1 upon 1 and k value is given as 0 so 0 1 upon 0 we know that 1 upon 0 gives us infinity means that given plane intersects z axis at infinity it will intersect x and y axis so its intercepts are 1 1 and infinity along x y and z axis now draw this plane so first of all you have to draw a cube you have to show three crystallographic axis and now show the curves along x axis at 1a y axis at 1a and z axis we will not have any intercept so the plane represented by a b c d represents 1 1 and 0 plane the next example is a plane whose middle indices are 0 1 0 it is clear from this digit that is the given plane will intercept only y axis and it will be parallel to x and z axis we have to draw such plane so let's find the intercepts how to find the intercepts by taking the reciprocal of miller indices so 1 upon 0 1 upon 1 and z 1 upon 0 so 1 upon 0 comes out as infinity it means that given plane intersect x axis at infinity 1 upon 1 is 1 it is intersecting y axis at 1a and 1 upon 0 it may again gives us intercept at infinity along z axis so given plane will intersects only y axis and such a plane is shown in figure with a b c d in figure 1.44 now next example is a plane whose miller indices are 0 0 1 it means that this plane is going to cut which axis z axis only and it is going to remain parallel to x and y axis now let's find the intercepts by taking the reciprocal of the miller index so 1 upon 0 for x 1 upon 0 for y and 1 upon 1 for z axis 1 upon 0 comes out as infinity intercept will be at infinity 1 upon 0 along y axis intercept will be at at infinity and 1 upon 1 will gives us intercept at 1a therefore it is easy to draw Miller plane with the help of Miller index given it means that you have to show a plane which will intercept only z axis as shown in figure a b c d in the figure 1.45 Then next is a plane whose middle indices are 2, 0, 0. It means that the plane is going to cut x axis at twice a. Then for y and z axis it will not have any cut. So take reciprocal 1 upon 2 along x axis, 1 upon 0 along y axis and 1 upon 0 along z axis. So 1 upon 2 then infinity and infinity will be the intercepts on x, y and z axis and show this plane as shown in figure. It represents 2, 0, 0 plane. The next plane is a plane whose middle indices are bar 1, 0, 0. Bar 1, 0, 0 we have seen one of the characteristics of the index that
if you have intercept at minus 1 on x axis at infinity along y axis and at infinity along z axis we have to draw such plane again we have to take intercept no reciprocal that is minus 1 upon 1 along x axis 1 upon 0 for y axis and 1 upon 0 for z axis it will give us the value of the intercept along x y z as minus 1 infinity and infinity it means that we have to show a plane which will intersect x axis negative x axis at one end then it will not intersect any y or z axis so the plane shown in 1.45 figure with a b c d dark one represents our plane bar 100 like this one can find out various things like 111 plane which will intersect all three crystallographic axes at 1a 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 then 100 it means that plane is going to intersect only x axis 010 plane will intersect only y axis then 001 plane will intersect only z axis then 101 will intersect x and z axis only 110 plane will intersect x and y axis only and 011 plane will intersect y and z axis like that one can find out or find out the intercepts and draw the Miller planes with the help of Miller index d1 hope you have understood this thank you and complete the sketches in example 1.5 that is cage 110, 010, 001, 200, 100 and 112 planes. Thank you.